Rock 92. Folk music mornings. From the Deftones and Crosses, lead singer Chino Moreno. Chino. What's up? Dude, Tucson is really, really happy that you're coming to our town. Cool, man. Yeah, we're excited about it. This uh, show sold out on Valentine's Day. It could have been sold out probably like five or six times. Nice. Uh, and we were just watching the Kimmel performance from Tuesday. How was how that? It seemed fun. Yeah, it was good, man. You know, it was the uh, first time on the late night television with crosses, and it, it was good, man. Were you nervous at all? Uh, not really. You know, obviously we did a, we did a sound check and everything earlier that day, and it, it seemed pretty cool. It was, you know, it sounded good, and I had a lot of good friends there and stuff, so it was cool. Yeah, I want to play uh, some of the some of Bitches Brew in uh, in just a second here, but uh, let's talk about the name and the and the symbol of the band, the three crosses. I'm like, I'm, I'm terrible with religious imagery, but it seems pretty heavy. Uh, what what is, what is the three crosses to you guys? That's a good question. Um, it's, it's more about the symbol itself, I think, than you know than, than anything um, particular. Um, you know, obviously, there, there's it's strong imagery, and I think uh, you know when we came with the new crosses. Obviously, you know, using the, the actual symbols of the crosses, you know, seemed like a very strong image to you know to take. But uh, we look, kind of look at it like you know each each cross represents each you know each guy. There's three of us. I don't know. It just seemed like something you know very strong. I mean, obviously, the re- religious art and um, you know it, it's, it's very strong and um, it's uh, something that we're all we're all you know very interested in but it's more of the art of it you know I'm not going to say that that, that 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 none of us are spiritual in any way but it's it, I think it's more uh, it's, it's more just just about you know the artistic um, you know, look of it all and you know the, the, the stronger it itself you know on the technical side, I, I mean, I remember a long time ago when Prince tried to turn himself into a symbol. Yeah. Uh, I think, it was, was it the love symbol? Uh, I'm not sure what that was. I know what you're talking about. It was like the ma- male and female symbols, but it came out looking like this really crappily designed medieval dagger. Right. And then he yeah. elongated his name because it was the artist formerly known as Prince. And then the symbol. Oh, so well, it was like this whole ridiculousness. Just as far as marketing it, is it tough to do with the three crosses as opposed to the name crosses? Like, what are they putting up on marquees? Um, just crosses, probably. It's probably easier to spell out. You know, when, it's one of those things where, you know, we, we stumble across it, you know, on a... Um, you know, on an Apple or you know Mac computer, it's basically option T. You know, makes makes the symbol. Um, so we just got excited about it. We we're like, oh, we found that. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, um, so, so it is kind of hard on some things because uh, you know, even like online, when you're searching for the band name, right. um, you know, if people unless people know that, you know, it's a little difficult you know, for search engine, engines and things like that. But um, um, it's, you know, it's just something fun. You know what I mean? It's a little something a little different, <laughs> but neat. I'm trying on the Microsoft keyboard. It's on the Can Apple keyboard. So to search for crosses effectively, it would be op- option Alt T. F3. Is that it? Nine. And then that creates the symbol of a cross. No. And then do that three times. I don't know how. To, I am afraid to press control anything on a Windows thing. I will figure it out. Oh, I figured out how to do it. Just draw on your screen with a Sharpie the cross. Uh, uh, should we play a second of uh, Bitches Brew here? Sure. We're talking with Chino Moreno of Crosses, and this is from the Kimmel performance on Tuesday night. I, I can hear the I can hear the deaf tones in in the chorus. Crosses feels a little bit more digital, a little groovier, less guitar driven than the deaf tones. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think it's a little less aggressive at times, and uh, and yes, there's um, there are guitars in it, but it's not as, as I guess as chugging as you know some death tone stuff. But nonetheless, it's it's my voice, and uh, you know, so I definitely get where the comparisons will lie. Right. Hard for me to escape that myself. Right. <laughs> Is it more relaxing or or less stressful to sing the crosses tunes? For death tones, it's it's a lot more aggressive, I think, um, at times. So there's less I get the strain on my vocal cords. I'd say within a show's a span of a show, I don't really approach it any any different other than that. You know, I mean, uh, I basically just react to the music that is presented to me, and that's uh, what you get. You know, Gino, I, I read somewhere that you moved to Oregon recently. Uh, yeah, just about uh, three four months ago. And what what part is it? Portland? Uh, Bend. It's close, about a few hours from Portland. Yeah. Did you need more rain in your life? <laughs> no, it's it's actually uh, like a high desert, so it's not. Very rainy. It does rain. It does snow. It's very nice. It's uh, 
you know, it's green, but it's uh, peaceful, it's quiet. My wife's parents live out there, and you know, we, we go out there for holidays and things like that, and we just kind of decided just to kind of chill out there for a minute. And, you know, I'm getting off tour, I'm traveling a lot, you know, and touring cycles and stuff, so it's actually kind of good to, to get home and actually, you know, decompress and, and chill, you know. I'm, I'm great into the outdoor stuff, so uh, it's been perfect so far, you know. I, I'm digging it. So it's a lot slower pace, so like something that you have to kind of get used to, but, uh, but I dig it. Can we talk Deftones for like a mini second here? Sure. Uh, did you guys get just get back from Australia? Yes, we did uh, a week ago. And how, how were those shows? Yeah, it was rad. I mean, we there's a band called Blur, uh, I guess, pulled out of the festival like last minute. So over the holidays, we got a call from them saying, hey, will you guys come and fill in pretty much last minute? Like that, net, like that day, pretty much. So yeah, it was very last minute. I mean, we, at that point, we had planned on kind of taking up the rest of last year. And then, you know, really focusing on uh, writing a new record this year. But uh, so it was good, kind of, you know, for out of nowhere, just all, us all to get together. And, you know, we didn't even really rehearse. We just got together. But it was like we didn't miss a, a day, you know. We went in there and pulled it off and, you know, had a good time. I know uh, a couple of years ago you were named one of the top 100 metal vocalists of all time. Do these, like, best of lists and awards, stuff like that, does it affect you? Of course, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool, you know, to, to be acknowledged in that way. I mean, it doesn't really dictate, you know anything why we do any you know what we do but um but it's definitely nice you know it's it's good to be acknowledged in, in that way for sure all right just one more thing on the last deftones disc there was supposed to be an earth wind and fire cover and then it wasn't on there what were you planning on doing i don't know that was the thing we were just we were trying to think of something that you know just sort of way out of context i mean that's the fun part about for us we're doing covers is like just picking something that is very unexpected and uh you know that doesn't sound like something that i guess that quote unquote metal band would do but I opened my mouth too soon and, and, and kind of told people and we actually had, hadn't recorded anything yet um, I also mentioned you know that we could do some some, some Elvis I've always, I've always wanted to do something, something a, little, a little croony or something you know from the from the 50s what's your favorite Elvis song? oh man uh, a song called Surrender is one of my favorites uh, I only know in the get that. I love If I Could Dream that one's awesome yeah no I mean dude, he's got so many great songs from from different eras as well, and different uh, you know different styles, but we never really got around to it. That was, that, was the, that was the lame part about it. Is it too much to ask for you to bust out the chorus of Heartbreak Hotel? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just woke up. It wouldn't, wouldn't sound too good. Hey, man, thank you so much for your time. Sweet, man. Thank you, guys. Folk, music, mornings. What are you looking at, head?